We need food, we need help. These people have nothing. So on March 14th, there was a devastating cyclone called Cyclone Idai that devastated the southeastern region of Africa, specifically the countries of Mozambique, Malawi, and Zimbabwe. Uh, these are countries that are already desperately poor. They're very vulnerable, and they're constantly on the list of some of the poorest countries in the world. So when a natural disaster like this happens, it is absolutely devastating to the infrastructure, to the economy, and to the livelihood of the people who live there. Well, we're very blessed that we have really great relationships with our partners who are already on the ground in Mozambique, in Malawi, and Zimbabwe. These are partners who have been doing feeding programs in these regions for many years. And because we have good relationships with them and because they are, we are already actively supporting their programs, we had food on the ground in Southeast Africa when the cyclone hit. So right after the cyclone came, our partners were already able to distribute over a million Manipak meals to those who were most immediately affected by the cyclone. On top of that, we've got over two million meals that are on the water right now as we speak that are intended to go to these areas. So our short-term response will be, how can we help with those who are displaced, those who don't know where their next meal is gonna come from for maybe the next few months. And then in the long term, we're concerned with how this storm has devastated the agriculture and the crop cycles of the people who live in this area. So over the next few months, we're committed to trying to make sure we're working with our partners as the cost of food starts to go up, as people aren't sure where their next meal is gonna come from for the long run. How are we able to support these communities by sustaining the food that we're able to give them? I heard from one partner telling me, please help our brothers and sisters. They're starving and they're naked and they need immediate help. And so we're trying to do whatever we can to continue to respond to the need and to make sure that we're able to show that there is hope that's greater than this cyclone. There's hope that's greater than the climate disaster that these people have been going through. So please understand, it's not just little help that we need, it's enormous need so that these people can start a life all over again from nothing. Our partners are there on the ground. They have some food they're gonna need a lot more uh, they can get this food to the people who right now desperately need this to survive. And we simply need your help to come in and volunteer and provide a gift so we can buy more ingredients and, and pray. Pray for these people, pray for the children of these countries that are so affected by this cycle.